how do you avoid it? There is always, you need to read, reductionism is needed yeah, in science. Yeah, yeah. And how do you avoid this, to lose the line between simplification or yeah, and yeah. oversimplification? Yeah. Which is not so easy. Yeah. How do you proceed? Or do you do a lot of theoretical modeling? The or only way I can can be successful and try to answer questions in South Africa because we don't have the access to the mm -hmm. facilities that the rest of the world has, is just to make sure we have lots of people working on the topic from different angles. That's the key. So we don't focus purely on the brain. We look at all functional, yeah. all the body yeah. parts and see how but can we integrate them. Into this yeah, that's, that's exactly yeah. right. So, yeah. so I've come from being a cardiovascular physiologist and I always wanted to be a muscle physiologist and, and I've gone right through now, I've ended up on the, in the brain. But that doesn't mean that I don't have interest in the other areas and we continue to promote them and promote research in all these areas. Because I think that, exactly, for example, if you take human exercise performance, it's so complex that you need to know all the components. And it may be that an intervention in different areas will work. So one of the areas we're looking at is contractility of muscle and how that differs between, between humans. Mm -hmm. And that, so it's not just recruitment. So elite athletes not only recruit perhaps a little bit more muscle, but their muscles are just so much more powerful. And the two combined. And then, of course, you have to get the motivation, the discipline, yeah, yeah, the focus, yeah, which comes into the brain. A, but, but there it comes back to complexity. How yeah, do you put exactly. all the parts yeah. together? We're not in a state to do that yet. I don't yeah, think yeah. You know, science can do it yet. Yeah. But, it, but the you always wait for the technology to come around. And the advances always come with technology. So there will be a technological breakthrough in the future where we'll be able to interrelate some, some of these, more of these variables than in present. Yeah. Whether it's a mathematical modeling, I don't know. That may be the answer as well. I have another problem, I don't know how you see this, that, that we are not used to deal with a healthy organism. We don't know what it means yeah. to be healthy. Yeah. No, that I absolutely agree with. And yeah. one of the areas that we're working on, which is perhaps not directly related, is that most of the studies of physiology of humans, rats and mice. Now, the rats and mice couldn't exist outside. They've been so changed through looking after them in laboratories. So we're starting to looking at the wild animals and opening the scope to see how they differ from, from our status. But, so that, that relates to human performance. But I absolutely agree with health. That, that we, I, I'm very despondent about my own profession because it's now being run by the pharmaceutical companies who's, yeah. whose focus is on profit. And, and, and they've got this major, doctors have a major conflict of interest because if they actually cure people, mm -hmm. if we cure the whole world, there'd be no need for medicine. So we don't cure people. We just make sure that they stay long and alive long enough to pay us more money. And that's, that's what really frustrates me about medicine. You see, if, if people really wanted to prevent, say, heart disease, we could have done it. But we don't. What we want to do is produce more cardiologists. And you can't produce more cardiologists unless you have more, unless you have more patients. So proven yes. methods of preventing disease or reversing disease are not applied. We use bogus methods which don't work.